Hi, I'm Dr. Jing Chen. I'm the director of the Cyber Clinic Academy. And today we're going to talk about a clarinet and a basset clarinet difference. Now let's play something from Mozart Clarinet Concerto with all three instruments and hope you can find something different. is the A clarinet. Now we move on to the second movement. Now, here's a comparison between the modern A clarinet and the modern Basset clarinet. You can tell the Basset clarinet is much longer. You have extra mechanism, both on the left and the right side, actually keep your both pinkies super busy. Uh, if I turn around, they also have a back there too which we don't have it on the regular clarinet. This is a replica of the antique basic clarinet on A. Uh, even though the bell part does not look like the sketches of the Anton Stadler's clarinet, but that bell is still resonant enough. The clarinet itself looks like a very regular five to eight keys antique clarinet at that time, except it's much longer. And the mechanism, the bottom and the back really helps to play the instrument go all the way to low C instead of low E. If I twist the instrument back, you can see you can have four extra keys there. If you have, if I push this part, the low D will come out. If I push the whole thing down, which is quite easy actually, and you can play low C. Amazingly, because of that mechanism, you can really play the instrument from low E to low C chromatically without any too much trouble. Now let's try the Bassett clarinet version of Mozart in antique style. Go all the way to the, down to low C. Oh, let's do some scales first to make sure I've hit the notes. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a tribute to my three years uh, old twin daughters. They had a kick of it when I played this instrument up to low C and played the twinkle twinkle little star. They just have so much fun with it. So now it's a real version of Mozart Concerto. You know.
the tone is not focused on so-called resonant or projected like a modern version instruments because of the material, because of the way they construct instrument and the intonation is not as good. So in old days, I think the musician was having incredible ears. Lots of times they also play string instruments. Um, so for me as a modern, modern, modern players, I really have to listen for the intonation as well as make sure I have to spread my fingers really wide in order to play. There's some notes, fingering difference too. For example, on a mountain clarinet, uh, on the French system, is G, A, B, C, and then if I use that fingering, it sounds like G, A, B, C sharp. So you have, you have to play like a, mo a modern German clarinet to make the high C right. And also go to low C to go low B. If we play modern clarinet, it sounds like this. It's supposed to be. I have to use those two fingers. Of course, even during that time for antique clarinet, you have to use own Different instruments have to use different kind of fingering to make it sound in tune. It's really fun. Now, I put them together side by side. I think they look so beautiful together.